Welcome back to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to solve some of the examples from the Try This and these are from the page number 39. This chapter is second chapter from the CBSC standard 7 syllabus. So here these are the Try This example from the page number 39 and in that we have to fill in some of the blanks. Now first of all let us understand the rules of multiplication. Earlier we have understood that how we are going about multiplication and if you have any doubt in that please refer my videos based on explanation of this chapter you can check the link from the description so here let us recall some of the rules of multiplication that for example if I have 2 by 3 if I have 2 by 3 and I am multiplying with 5 then this is only numerator and we do not have anything in denominator. Then we can guess that this is 1 and we will multiply like 2 into 5 and 3 into 1. When it is multiplication, when it is division, we do not need LCM. We can directly multiply them. So here we will get 10 by 3 as an answer. So this is our product out of this 2 multiplication. Now suppose another example that in that 2 by 3 is there multiplying with 1 by 5 is there. So here 1 is there in the numerator. Whenever 1 is there in the numerator we have to write. But if it is not there then this is a whole number. We do not need to write 1. Here we will just assume that in the denominator 1 is there. So we will multiply 3 into 1 and we will get 3. But here it is important to mention because 5 is in the denominator. Here what will be our multiplication? 2 into 1 and 3 into 5. Simply we will multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So here our answer is 2 divided by 50. So that is how we will do it in multiplication. Simply we will multiply the numerators and denominators. If numerator, in the numerator 1 is there, we will multiply other number with the 1. If in the denominator nothing is there, then we will guess that and we will assume that it is 1. And we will multiply the other number with the 1. So these are the two rules of multiplication. Now let us solve these examples with these rules. So 1 divided by 2 into 1 divided by 7. So here they have given one example that 1 into 1 divided by 2 into 7. So 1 into 1's product is 1. Now 2 into 7 we will get 14. Now second. Here they have not given the second step. So I advised you to write all the steps in between. You can directly write here that 1 divided by 35. But it is advisable that you write one more step. If you will do any mistake in the final step, then you will get marks still here. Because in the maths, you will get marks in a stepwise manner. So even if you will mistakenly write something wrong here, then also you will get marks still here. So it is better to write one step extra. So we will get here 1 into 1 and below we will write 5 into 7. So 1 into 1's denominator 5 into 7. So answer is 1 into 1 is 1 and 5 into 7 we will get 35. So that is how we are writing. Now here 1 by 7 into 1 by 2. So 1 into 1 divided by 7 into 2. So answer is 1 divided by 40. You can see here even if we have reversed the order. Even if we have reversed the order our answer has same. It is same like 5 plus 3 and 3 plus 5. We will get the same answer from both of this addition. Similarly in multiplication also the order will not matter. You can multiply 3 digits in any order you will get the same answer. Here also you will multiply 2 digits in any order you will get the same answer. Here 1 by 7 into 1 by 5. This is the same num these are the same numbers and only the order has been reversed. So we will get the same answer. Let us see how. 
So we have just arranged them that 1 into 1 in the denominator 7 into 5. So the answer is 1 divided by 35. So these are the small things which we need to take care of while you are doing multiplication. That first thing you can multiply them numerators into numerator and denominators into denominator. If nothing is there in the denominator you can assume 1 and even if you will change the order your answer remain same. These are the three important points while you are doing multiplication for the fractions. So hope you have liked the video and maybe this has solved your many doubts. So please subscribe learn yourself for many more upcoming videos. I'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep practicing.